Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and today I have a curriculum review to share with you. This curriculum is by Oak Meadow. It is grade one and this is the revised edition. Now this curriculum belongs to my sister and she asked my opinion about it and so I am going to share that with you today as well as with my sister. So it comes with everything you see here. I'm gonna walk you through this but the first thing I wanna tell you is that I am really impressed with this curriculum. It is really beautiful and it is nicely laid out and it is great for either a seasoned home Schooler or brand new homeschooler. So the first thing you're going to get is this welcome note and it comes with all of the materials that you'll expect to find in the grade one package. Now there are other resources that Oak Meadow provides for both grade one as well as resources that will span I think about three years and so I will point out those things as we go through the curriculum and then on the back it says welcome to Oak Meadow it tells you how to begin and a couple other bits of information here all right so let's start with the early readers you get a couple of level one beginner readers this is Charlie and the ranch dog and you can see that you've got some really beautiful large illustrations and then the text is pretty minimal and if your child isn't ready to read this at the beginning of the year don't worry you have the entire year to work on these. You also have Charlie and the Ranch Dog. This is stuck in the mud. And again, you're gonna have those same fabulous, beautiful illustrations. You also get a number of level two readers. You get Frog and Toad together. And the illustrations here are a little bit smaller and you can see that there's quite a bit more text. You also get Mouse Tails. And again, smaller illustrations and quite a bit of text. You get Mouse Soup. And Frog and Toad are friends. So along with those readers, you also get a smaller book on word families. And you can see that there are beautiful illustrations, the different word families, and then some sentences that go along with those. And this will come in really handy when you see these lessons show up in the curriculum, which I'll show you in a minute. The next thing I wanna show you, I am really pleased to see this. This is Beginning Recorder. I admit that I'm not sure if this book was available with the unrevised edition, but this is beautifully done. It looks like it is really easy to follow for a beginner, especially if you as a teacher don't know how to play the recorder. I feel like this is really going to help you learn how to master that skill so that you can teach your child. Now, for me personally, I have been wanting to teach my children the recorder for many years and the curriculum that I follow and some of the other resources that I have just have not worked for me. So this looks really great and I am hoping that this will actually help somebody who hasn't, who doesn't have any music background, be able to play the recorder. All right, so let's move on to the to the main part of the curriculum. You get two books here. This is the course book and this is the resource book. So let me show you the resource book first. So this resource book is going to have everything you need for the first grade curriculum except for a couple of things and I'll point that out when we get to the course book. It's going to have all of the stories that you're going to need for all the different subject areas. Your language arts and social studies, your social studies, math, your math gnome stories, and your science. This is going to be so valuable because the first grade curriculum is so rich in stories and it's not gonna all be in the course book. You're going to have the separate resource book that collects them all together. So rather than going out and getting, say, Aesop's Fables or a book on fairy tales or other story books that will have stories that pertain to these different lessons, it is all collected for you in one place. I also wanna show you how beautifully some of these stories stories are illustrated. So it, it's beautifully divided too. If you haven't ever seen the revised edition for the Oak Meadow curriculum, first of all, the whole printing, the binding, everything is very high quality. I like the spiral binding, but it also has some complications as well. It is super easy to fold over your book and usually this is the way that I would use it, just fold it over. The binding is, is a high quality spiral binding. The paper also is high quality. It's not easy to rip out. That is my only concern is is books or rather the pages getting torn out of, of of a binding like this, but overall, this is all much higher quality than you would normally find with binding, and I am really pleased with it. And then, of course, the front and back cover are also laminated. They're very thick and they're very nice. Something else you'll notice is that you have these different sections that are color-coded, 
and I really like that so it's easy to access those different uh, parts of the book. Something else that is so brilliant is that they have made use of all of these margin spaces and they've added some lines so that you can write your notes which is fabulous. I often write in my curriculum or in books in general and this gives you a nice place here to write your notes as you go through the curriculum. It's going to go through a lot of the, the basics of how to actually use this curriculum. Now though it is Waldorf inspired, it does stray from a lot of the Waldorf principles quite a bit and so I find this to be a nice middle ground if you want a more traditional approach with some Waldorf elements. I find that this is a great way to merge the two. So it's going to talk about circle time, creating daily structure and rhythm, and this is so important for the first grade student because first grade is that transition from the preschool, kindergarten, play-based learning that you're going to have prior to the age of about six and a half, seven. From this point forward, establishing a good, solid routine and rhythm is really going to help your student throughout the rest of his young academic life. All right, so as you go through, it's going to have tons of information on helping you out, especially if you have a first grade student for the first time or this is your first time homeschooling. It's going to be great to have all this additional information. As you become a seasoned homeschooler, you start to find your own rhythm. You start to be able to understand what's gonna work for your children, what's gonna work for you, and you may not rely on this quite as heavily, but for the first time homeschooler, this is going to be invaluable. All right, so let's move on to the different subject areas. You have this whole section here on language arts. You also have a section on social studies, another one mathematics, and then science. You have arts and crafts, and I love all the beautiful illustrations over here within the different sections. Um, music and movement and then assessment measures. This is a very complete curriculum. You'll be in good hands if you choose this curriculum. All right, this section here is separate. If you are choosing Oak Meadow and you are an enrolled student with Oak Meadow, you are going to be using this curriculum or at least this section a little bit different than if you were simply purchasing the curriculum and doing this on your own. All right, so let's get into the stories. The first stories up are the language art stories, and these are going to be especially helpful when you are introducing the letters of the alphabet. It's gonna go through the story that you will be telling your child when you introduce that letter. And then you can see that you've got the beautiful little illustrations on the side. All right, so let's move on to the next section after language arts. Basically, the language arts section is going to go through all the letters of the alphabet, and the stories are wonderful. The next section up is social studies, and you can see that this section is a little bit smaller. It has fewer illustrations, and you can see that it does have a couple of photos as well. Moving on, the next section is math, and this is gonna be great for introducing the four mathematical operations. I like this idea of using these different stories and different characters in order to introduce all four functions, which is a little bit unique for the Waldorf approach. You will be introducing addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division within the same time period. And so if that's a new approach for you, then I highly encourage you to follow the curriculum as best as you can because it's really gonna help ease you as a parent and your child into these different mathematical concepts. And if you are a parent who has learned these one at a time, then it will require you to do a little bit of a mental shift in order to understand the reason why they're in being introduced all within the first grade year and also give you some skills to introduce that successfully. Moving on, oh and you can see the beautiful illustrations here. That is one thing that I really love about the Waldorf approach and that is all the beautiful, beautiful illustrations used to depict the different lessons. One thing that you're not going to have with just the curriculum are the additional supplies and materials that you'll need in order to accompany the curriculum. Those are sold separately at the Oak Meadow website. You will need your crayons and your watercolors as well as your main lesson books. All right, so moving on, the next section is science. And you can see again, some beautiful illustrations and some beautiful stories. And this is going to take you through to the end of this resource book. Again, it's these illustrations are just beautiful and you can use them as inspiration for your own 
illustrations for your students main lesson book this will also make great chalkboard art if you have a chalkboard you can go ahead and do some of these illustrations for the different lessons or the different weeks and that can be inspiration for the entire unit all right so let's move on to the course book this is the final book that you're going to get this is quite large and again it has the beautiful binding it's all really nice good quality so let me take you into the beginning here the first section is going to go over just some general information the introduction is going to help you achieve a good rhythm with your school day and also understand how all the lessons are laid out. Now the one main difference you're going to see with the Oak Meadow curriculum versus other Waldorf inspired curricula is that it does not follow the block scheduling format like you might find in other curricula that are Waldorf inspired. The block scheduling format means that for a period of time, maybe three weeks, maybe six weeks, you'll be focusing just on one subject area, either science or the letters the introduction of the letters or math in this case it takes you through all those lessons within the course of a week and that's something else to be mindful of is that the each lesson when it says lesson one this actually spans the entire week so there are 36 lessons so 36 weeks is a 36 week school curriculum but each lesson is actually it spans the whole week so if you're used to having a lesson for each subject like lesson one for math and then lesson one for language arts and that's supposed to take a day for instance you'll just have to rethink lesson and think of it as week i want to take you back here to the weekly planner this is really fantastic you can lay out your week really well this way so this weekly planner is also available on their website and you can download it and print it off if you don't want to write directly into your course book you can also photocopy this and what's what's nice about this is that it's going to take you through a seven day week and then you're going to have all of your different subject areas up here and then it tells you how many times a week they recommend for each of these different subject areas for health there is also a separate curriculum that will span about three years I believe it's health and hygiene and more information can be found on their website about this then you have your weekly planner for lesson one and this would again take you through the entire week i really like the way that this is laid out you can see a complete summary of all of the things that you're going to be doing this week so let's start with lesson one on the side here, you can see all of the materials that you're going to need for this week. This is excellent. And I would recommend that you look at this even before the week begins, especially if there are materials that you don't have that you need to get in order to do some of these different projects. Starting your day. It's great that this comes in the first lesson because the construct of your day, the rhythm of your day, you're going to want to establish that early on and keep a good rhythm throughout the weeks and months. So some of the things that are suggested for the rhythm or for the morning activities those are the kinds of things that you're going to want to repeat throughout the weeks and really establish them well so while the morning verses may not be offered every week for circle time for instance they are things that are going to be referred back to so you're not going to see morning has come night is away we rise with the sun to welcome the day you're not going to see that verse every week it's going to refer back to this area here so that you remember to use the same verse over and over again because that repetition is going to be really good for the child especially the six seven eight year old child that repetition is going to provide comfort and uh, expectancy for the child and of course repeating these kinds of verses and the other verses that are suggested is going to help with memory work as well what I like about this curriculum is that it even offers some suggestion for a bedtime routine because as a homeschooler you can address all parts of your day with an element of education it allows you to repeat some of the stories that were introduced earlier on in the day as a bedtime story or you can just do them for the first time as a bedtime story and then let that rest with your child and then you can review it the following day 
the curriculum is going to go over the concept of a main lesson. Now, a main lesson within the Waldorf curriculum is a period of time that you're going to spend devoted on a particular subject area. And for first grade, they're recommending 45 minutes to an hour. It may take less, it may take more time, but this is the main part of your school day. You're going to concentrate on this particular subject area. Now, for week one, there are going to be lessons in all five subject areas, but you're going to be focusing your main attention on your first main lesson block. And for week one, or rather for block one, it's going to be the letters of the alphabet. So you're going to focus on that for your main lesson block, but you're still going to have these smaller lessons that are going to accompany your main lesson block in the other subject areas. So it's going to give you some suggestions on how to do that. So in the first 12 weeks, you'll do the letters of the alphabet. And then for the next 12 weeks, you can do word families. And then for the final 12 weeks, you can focus on reading and writing skills. You're also going to be working on math and science and movement and art. And all of those are going to be worked into your daily schedule. And the curriculum is also going to suggest when to do that. This curriculum suggests that you spend three afternoons a week working on math and two afternoons a week working on science. But again, as a homeschooling family, you can choose a schedule that's going to work best for you and your children. Following circle time, you're going to move into your main lesson for the day. Now you can see that there are some illustrations here that will help you with the introduction of the letters of the alphabet. These are a little bit more simple than the ones that you saw in the resource book. And this is going to be a lot easier for you and your child to copy. So you can put this into your own main lesson book and your child can copy what you are drawing or you can use a loose sheet of paper or if you have a chalkboard, you can draw these on the chalkboard and then your child can copy them into his or her main lesson book. Now there are some additional resources that will be helpful to the parent. You can find them in the Oak Meadow Guide to Teaching the Early Grades. You can find that on their website. All right, so let's move on. You have letter A for language arts. You also are going to go through letter B. It's also going to talk about some different word families in here. And then you're going to have an option for further study down here where you can do some additional lessons related to these lessons. You also have your social studies in here, and this is a photograph of the phases of the moon. You're gonna have your math as well, and your science, and your arts and crafts. You also have music and movement, and then also you're going to have your handwork, which is going to be knitting for the first grade year. And then lastly, you have health. That makes out the first week. And at the end of the week, you have this learning assessment sheet, and you can use it to see how your child has done for this week. So in language arts, it has all the different things that you will want your child to be able to achieve. And then it's not yet evident. It's developing, it's consistent, and you can write your notes. And this is really great to know what you are expecting of your child to learn because sometimes we only look at the pure academics. Did he learn the letter A? Does he know the sound? But rather, if you look through here, it goes through, retells the story, events, and sequence, identifies long A sounds and words. And it goes through a few more uh, examples here for language arts. And then for literature, you have read aloud by the adult, read by the child in progress, read by the child complete, and then again some notes. You have the same assessment here for social studies. And then again on the other side, you have it for math, science, and arts and crafts. Week two, again, you have your week two lesson plan. And what's nice is that each week is going to have a bit more information about how to use the curriculum and set up your day. You're gonna find so many gems in here. I recommend that you read this before jumping into your lessons. I wanna show you what you're gonna see in week two. You're gonna see the introduction of form drawing right here, and you're gonna see some of the simple form drawings that your child can use during this lesson for this week. And you can also, again, use that throughout the weeks that follow. All right, so let's jump to week 10. Again, you can see that there's a little bit less information now for the week as your rhythm has been established. You don't need quite as many pointers in order to get that down. You have your circle time in the morning and now you're up to letter T and U. Let's jump ahead again to 
week 15. And now you're working on word families. For math for this section, you can see that by week 24, the child is now combining different numbers together to make the number 10. You can also see that here where you're combining three numbers to make the number 10. You have your science and all the other subject areas. So let me jump all the way to the end of the book. Let's go to week 34. You can see now that the word families have gotten a little bit more complex. You have these equations here that are subtraction, addition, multiplication, addition, and division. So all four functions are here showing up by the end of the year. Okay, and the last week, week 36, you're gonna see that by this point, it is pretty similar to the previous weeks, a much smaller week to end out your school year. I wanna show you that the back of the book, you have a list of the materials that you'll need. And you also have the materials sorted by lessons, which is fantastic. All right, so that is the complete course book as well as all of the other materials that you'll get for grade one. I was really pleased with the layout and the quality of this curriculum. If you wanna see the review for the other Oak Meadow curricula, as well as the comparison video with the live education curriculum, you can tap on the screen right now. There's more information about this curriculum down in the description box below and don't forget that if you have any questions or comments you can leave them below this video in the comment section thanks for watching